Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you some new bits of stock. I have a little chat about a few bits I brought from the house um, and give you a little update on what's going on um, at the shop. Now, yes, I'm in shirt and tie and trousers and that that I don't normally wear to the shop. And the reason it, for that is I got approached yesterday um, by some people making a video. Now they're filming uh, throughout the valley here. Uh, so imagine there's six or seven villages in a row all the way up from Pontypridd Town Centre to Aberdeer Town Centre. In between there, there's six or seven villages. Each village you know, has something like 20,000 people in there and they're one main street. Well, basically last year they made a video, they selected certain shops in each village and they made a video showing you what the villages or the valleys got to offer people for shopping at Christmas and things like that. Well, they came in yesterday and they asked would I go in to this year's film with the shop. So they got, at some point today they're going to come and take some video of the shop and so on and it's going to be spliced into the film. Exactly what that entails and how it's going to appear at the end and that I haven't got a clue. Um, but I do know I have got quite a few followers on the other side of the world who will be very interested in the film just to see what the valleys are like and you'll know, get to see my shop in the film and that. So when that film does come out now for Christmas, I'll, uh, I'll post the link on Antiques Arena for you to actually watch the film. But as I say, how much I'm in the film or how long the shop's in the film for, I don't know. I've just decided to dress a bit smart and have a little clean through um, and just get it looking really nice in you now to get in the film. Last year they had 100,000 views by Christmas. Now 100,000 people watching our film by Christmas are going to see my shop and 95% of them are local people. Uh, everybody in the areas watches the film uh, to see who they know on there and so on. So that's a hundred thousand people are going to know my antique shop is in Mountain Ash. So, hence the tie, the shirt. Got to be done, guys. Really has got to be done. So that's what we're up to at the moment. Now, I've uh, done my new Christmas or December hours. It's the 1st of December today, even though the film ain't going to be published uh, straight away. Um, I've started my Christmas hours from Monday. I'm not going to start them from today, which is a Friday. So from the 4th of December, I've got extended opening hours and this is what's going up in the shop now. So basically, Christmas hours um, and so forth and my days that I'm closed over the Christmas period. I'm not taking many days off, I'm only taking six days off all over Christmas. Three days for Christmas, three days for the New Year. So that's not too bad, six days off. And they needed. Some well deserved, well needed family time where I spent some time with the children. So I made those um, little leaflets last night, they're going to go up on the wall. Uh, something else I've done, I've been selling teddy bears seriously well at the shop. Uh, they haven't even got to be labelled, I've had some teddy bears with movable limbs and that, you know, some vintage from the 60s and 70s. Um, I've had some stifes and that, and they've all gone like that. So I actually took my stife teddy bears off my website uh, today. Uh, I got a little beautiful uh, stife cat, all got the buttons in the year. So you always tell the stife, uh, they'll have the button in the year or a tag. You know, the tag there, the yellow tag in the year with the button. Um, so I got, I've took some stife teddy bears off my uh, website and I've brought them to the shop. This one, the tag's a bit warm, but he's still there. Um, and I also am selling bronze very well. So the coal painted bronze I bought in the summer that I never bothered doing anything with, Stife teddy bear again, got the button in the ear, but this is cold painted bronze. So, there's four stife teddy bears that have just been brought into the shop now because I'm selling better in the shop than I'm selling online. Shockingly, I know. Can't explain it. Um, I've had a lady come in and ask me for a really nice cross, so I've pulled a cross off, the in off my internet and that's going to go. The 
she's asked me for that, so that's going to take pride of place on one of the shelves, and uh, when she comes in, that will be for her. Um, so I'm bringing pieces in for people now specifically, um, but what I am going to do, before the end of the day, um, I'm going to decide which of these I'm going to give away free to one of you people, one of you subscribers. Um, I told you I was going to do a really good giveaway for Christmas. Um, now you will have already seen the competition video because it's going out before this video. So you'll already know which teddy bear I decided to give away. I'm also going to dig out the book on whales. I got a full illustrated book on whales that I'm going to include with this teddy bear for you. Um, so if it goes to Australia, goes to America, goes anywhere, Michigan, anywhere in the world, um, Ohio, it doesn't matter. You can have a look what Wales is like and you'll have a Stife teddy bear. It'll probably be this little boot here to be totally honest with you. This is the cutest one I got. Gorgeous. Original labelling. Um, and some nice little Stife teddy bear. So that's probably going to be the one I'm going to give away. So whoever wins that on the Christmas draw guys, I hope you uh, appreciate how beautiful uh, she is. And of course you'll have the book on Wales. So I said it'd be something really nice. You're going to have a Stife, Margaret Stife teddy bear and an illustrated book on Wales as your Christmas present off me. And that is my way of saying thank you for all the support that you've all given me. And you have given me a lot of support and I am very grateful. Now I've got a bag of bits to show you. These are bits I've brought in uh, recently. Now you haven't seen them yet as far as I know I haven't shown you one. Now I'm going to start off with, believe it or not, set of eight tea plates. They are Bristol Crown Ducal, registration number 762055. Now a set of six plates. Normally I wouldn't have really looked at them. Um, and I tell you where they came from, the gentleman I had to buy off who I have all my stuff off. He had a little look online um, to see what they were selling for on that and he actually wrote a little note on top that two sold on eBay for 12 and 15 pounds for a pay. Uh, and then priced them up as eight pound for the lot. Now I got eight. So if you work out, that's four pairs at 15 pound, that's 60 pound. He charged me eight pound. Okay, so there we go again. That's uh, how it was sold to me. And I was in, I was, oh, really? That's an awful lot of money just for a couple of tea plates that I don't really buy and sell that often. Um, so he said, well, have a look yourself. Do you know why I had a look? Some people for a set of eight were asking a hundred pound for a set of eight of these bloody tea plates. I don't see what's so special about it. I really don't. Um, they're all perfect. Pattern is Bristol, Crown Ducal, you know, uh, I paid eight quid, so I'm gonna chuck 40 quid on them. There's a, still a damn good profit on there for somebody for eBay. Um, I'll put them in the shop here, and I'll put a little ticket on their eBay prices for them, uh, and see if they sell. But, if you're unsure on something, guys, seriously, have a little look on eBay, see what they're selling for, and it'll give you an idea. It's not the type of stuff I normally go for, uh, it's normally a bit plain for a ride by, but they obviously love this pattern. It must be a rare, desirable pattern, that's all I can say. Next piece I add is really nice. We have uh, Edward VII Coronation Cup. Um, long life and happiness to King Edward VII and his beloved consort, Queen Alexandra, crowned June 26, 1902. Again, another piece of commemorative, royal commemorative. It's in this sort of brown uh, transfer. But this one is produced by Dalton of Burslam, Royal Dalton. So it's quite early, nice early mark, Royal Dalton, and there's the price I paid. Now I can tell you now, I'm gonna get 15 pound for this cup because it's Royal Dalton and it is a 115 year old commemorative. Um, I'm doing all right on commemorative at the moment. I don't know whether it's making a resurgence, but three pound for a Royal Dalton Cup, 115 year old. What, 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 what more do you want, really? You know. 
This I like. It's 19th century meat plate. Uh, no marks on it whatsoever, so we know it's pre-1880 uh, or 1881, because otherwise it'd have England on there. Um, so there's no maker's marks whatsoever. It's probably about 1860s, somewhere under there, 1870. In fact, looking at it, I'd say maybe 1870. But the pattern, guys. Look at that for a pattern. Now I've got a book on transfer printed where and I haven't had a chance to look this pattern up yet. But we have a dragonfly, is it a dragonfly? Yeah, it's gotta be a dragonfly or a mosquito or something. Maybe a mosquito, you've got the bird here. So this is really aesthetic movement. Um, 1870s I would say, you've got butterflies here, the, this insect here, you've got birds all the way around. Really, really nice aesthetic movement uh, meat plate. Now this is period, it's 19th century, it's not, you know, it's not um, a modern copy. You can see all the uh, orange peeling in the glaze, everything. It's really nice plate. Now I've paid him £6 for this plate, but with the pattern, I rate this plate up about 30, 30 to £40, no problem whatsoever. It's a really nice plate. You have to, if I cut you off guys, it's because someone's coming in, even though I'm not open yet. The door's unlocked, but they got someone uh, looking in the window there. Next piece I got, guys, is another bit of commemorative. Edward VII again and Queen Alexandra, so again 1902. But we have a pressed glass plate. Um, bear with me a second. Sorry about that, guys. Right, so we got Edward the Seventh uh, pressed glass plate. There we go. You can see there, it cost me two pounds. Um, you know, you got the rampant lion here, the British flag, Edward the Seventh and Alexandra, and then the uh, depiction of the two of them together. They were 1902. Two pound for a pressed plate of this age. It's not going to struggle to get 12 or 15 pound in the shop, let's be honest. They're going to take one look at that in the shop and they're going to go, I'll have that for the 15 quid, thank you very much. They think they're having a steal. <laughs> I had it for two quid. Next piece we got here, guys, is really nice. It's Middle Eastern, Islamic, Persian, something like that. It's engraved and embossed or hammered copper charger. Looking at this, this design has been hammered into the uh, design and engraved in. It's quite unusual. Same source again, guys. So this cost me uh, four pound, either four or five pound. I gotta have to check my book, but I think it wasn't any more than a fiver. That's a nice copper charger or plate, whichever you want to call it. All embossed around the edge, dear. There's a variety, yeah, that's going to be right in, no doubt it'll be a passage from the Quran or something like that, you know, or a little love note, something like that, that's where they normally are. Um, this is right in, Islamic right in, so Middle Eastern, it's just a nice charger. Uh, value, probably 20 to 30 pounds, not fortunes, but it's alright. Again, we have another meat plate, and again, this one's not stamped. Now, I would have thought, looking at this, this was 20th century, um, but it doesn't have a maker's mark, doesn't have England, doesn't have nothing, it's got plenty of craze in. I'm going to leave this one open to speculation. I wouldn't have thought it was 19th century, but what we got here is transfer printed with a little bit of hand painting on. So all the colour has been applied afterwards by hand. Um, you have the ducks flying home, um, or flying south or north, whichever it is. All the fruit around the edges, the pears and apples and grapes. You can see I paid £8 for this one. It's a large meat plate, this one. This has got to be not far off 2 foot wide, 18 inches, 24 inches wide. It's a really nice meat plate. Again, same value as the, uh, the last £25, £30-ish. 
I honestly expected to see a Made in England or something on this one, dating it to maybe the 20s or 30s, but there's no Micah's marks whatsoever. Um, so maybe it is a 19th century one, but I don't think it is. But either way, um, just on the decorative merits alone, you got the uh, castle here on the banking, you got the lake, or almost a loch, and you got the birds. It's a nice um, charger, a meat plate rather. So I'm quite happy with that. Guys, I may have to go again. You'll have to excuse me if I do. It's um, quite busy here this morning. And then, uh, I mean, no, it's only 8 o'clock. No, we don't actually walk past. Uh, that's pretty much <coughs> what I wanted to show you in uh, today's video. A um, couple of nice bits of stock there. Uh, a little chat to you about some of the pieces I brought down from the shop. From the shop, from the internet site. <coughs> Um, looking forward to seeing this video, seeing if the impact it has on advertising my shop. Uh, with a bit of luck, it'll um, it'll draw more people in. I'm having a very good success rate. I'm only getting probably eight to twelve people in the shop per day. However, if I have this round an average of ten people in the shop a day, seven of them are buying. So my success rate is seriously good. Um, I've got to be having 70-80% success rate on sales. So the people who are coming in are buying. Uh, and they're not just buying little bits. They're spending £50 here, £100 there, £345 on a ring, £800 on a ring. Um, lady came in yesterday, um, you know, four or five pieces, £65. Another lady came in £50. So, the success rate is really good. They're not coming in and buying a £10 item, they're coming in and spending £50 to £100 as an average price. But the fact is, the people who are coming in are falling in love with what I got, falling in love with the shop. 70 to 80% of them are buying, the other 30%, 10% of them are coming back another day because they've seen something that they like and they wanted it and they didn't have money on it. So I'm actually only having two or three people a day walk out of here and think, nah, there's nothing in it for me. So working on that basis, if I can get more people through the door, then I'm going to have more sales. Obviously, that's common sense anyway. The more foot traffic you get, the more sales you get. But working on the percentages I'm working on at the moment, um, this video got the uh, potential of doubling or trebling or quadrupling my uh, daily take. Um... But to be totally honest with you, it's uh, it's all going really well. Best thing I done was take this shop. I'm really pleased. It has eaten up a lot of my time, guys. But I am online now. I've got Wi-Fi, so I can make my videos in the shop in the morning. I can post my videos. I had no end of trouble getting the Wi-Fi up and running, guys. Seriously. Um, ended up going through four routers. Or routers. You'll have to excuse me. He's a lady who's been backing for the window four times already this morning. Uh, I'm in the weather to come in. <laughs> um, what more can I say? I'm going to make the competition video in a few minutes now and uh, we'll see who won the WMF dish. Um, beautiful WMF dish arts and crafts piece. German uh, arts and crafts that I'm giving away in November. But as I've said, for Christmas competition, as you know, it will be. I'm going to give this book away, take the price off, that's no longer for sale. It's going to be this book, which is Wales, and it's fully illustrated, guys, showing you all the different images of Wales, how beautiful it is here. Um, some beautiful countryside we got here. The reason it's green is because it never stops raining. <laughs> so you're gonna have this book and you're gonna have this stife teddy bear. No, I was after a Christmas giveaway. You got a stife teddy bear to keep and you got a whale so you can see where I live. I think that's perfect. So, really pleased with that guys. I'm happy with the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, you got to see a few little bits of stock that are going out again in the shop today. A um, little chat. Wish me luck on the filming, guys. I really hope it goes well. To be honest, I hope you spend loads of time in your filming the carbonates and really 
showcasing what the shop's got to offer. Um, got to take advantage of every opportunity of free advertising. Um, all in all, happy days. Can't fault it one bit. Let's just hope things keep going the way they are. Guys, I want to thank you for all your support. I want to thank you for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please, I would appreciate a like and a share. I, as you know, I'm trying to get to the 1,000 subscribers by January 23rd for my daughter's birthday. We had a bet when I started doing this that she said, you will never reach 1,000 by my birthday. Well, I'm on 738 or 740-ish, somewhere around there. I would really, really appreciate that extra 250 subs by January 23rd, guys. So if you can help, please share, please subscribe. Um, as I said, I'd appreciate a like and a share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Leave a little comment to say you've subscribed, and I'll give you a thumbs up. Um, you'll find me on Facebook, guys. I have a page and a group, Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay. Just run a search by seller, Antiques Arena Clearance. I haven't put a lot on there at the moment, but throughout the winter I will get back to listing on eBay. Also, I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or come to my shop, guys. You will find me at number 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, CF 45 3 Hotel Bravo. I guarantee you, you'll have a lovely time wandering around, browsing, just having a look what I got nose in. Well, just quickly before I uh, go now. Um, a couple of coins come in yesterday. Make my key on. Yes, two seconds, stay there. The first one, someone came in the shop last night, they wanted a uh, tenner for the two, so I just had them off them. Uh, the first one is a five pound coin anyway, so I could have took it to the bank and cashed it in for a fiver. But it's the history of the Royal Air Force, and it's a five pound coin. I don't know uh, if it's in silver or in nickel or anything yet, I'm going to have to test it. But it's, it's £5 if I take it to the bank, I get my £5 back that I paid for it, so it's not really a gamble. It's like when I have the £2 coins and the 50 pences and I put them out for profit and if I can't sell them, I'll spend them back in the bank. Well, that's exactly the same with that. I can bank that £5 coin. But I've chucked uh, 12 or £15 on there anyway. And the other one, I give it a 5 or 4, which may have been a bit high on this one, but it's, I liked it is Prince William, Prince of Wales and Catherine Elizabeth Middleton, one dollar. It's uh, sealed in a hard case. It's uh, Cook Islands, one dollar from 2010. It's a nice coin again. So I give her a tenner for the two. She needed money for electric or whatever she needed the money for. Um, I, I'm short on coins in the shop. I mean, I can't keep them in, they sell in too quick. So I thought, you know what? For a tenner, I'm gonna get 25 quid. 12, 14, 15 pound coin, 25 quid for the pay. So it's good profit for me. It keeps the people coming in, bringing stuff in, you know, and not turning them away. Even if I was to make a fiver on the two and sell the pay for 15, it wouldn't matter. I'm having a little turnover and people are still coming into the shop. Even if they come in to buy or to sell rather in the shop, they're still looking around and seeing the cabinets. And when they're thinking, I want that unique gift, they're gonna come straight back. So I'm gonna keep them coming in whether I'm buying or selling. <coughs> Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.